In tonight's visit to the workshop, something a little bit different, but a little bit the same, we're going to be looking at tyres. And specifically, we're going to be having a quick little review of some tyres I've been trying out this year. They're new to me, they're not one of the better known brands, but for those who use them, I've just heard great things about them. So I've been riding MSC tyres pretty much solely on the full sus since January. Now, I heard great things about them. I knew people were riding them at the EWS as privateers. I seen other um, YouTube riders kind of like talking about how good they are in multiple different kind of terrain conditions. And I was needing a fresh set of uh, kind of shoes for the Spitfire. And so I thought, why not try something different from the usual Magic Marys? Also, if you could give us a like and subscribe, that would be great. Enough of the YouTube nonsense, back to the tires. Now, first off, a big thanks to Benahy Bike Boffy and Terra Venture for setting me up with these tires here. I've been trying the Gripper, which is their more kind of downhill enduro kind of tread pattern, and their single track, which is their kind of more kind of trail oriented multi purpose tread pattern. Now, I've tried them in different conditions trail center, wet, dry, and I've got the Gripper on the front and I've got the single track on the rear. And I think I've got enough time in them to give a fairly kind of solid kind of response and kind of how I feel they, they work best, where they work best and where they don't. So what are these tires like? Well, the gripper is probably most like the classic Schwalbe Magic Mary. It kind of fits into that sub downhill, enduro, heavy duty, large carcass, high volume, kind of aggressively knobbed tire. It comes in a variety of casings and combinations, including a downhill carcass, if you want that kind of additional kind of support and puncture protection, or slightly lighter weight versions like I'm running with a variety of um, kind of compounds and mixtures of those compounds as well. The single track is probably closer to a knobby neck or a hand damp something a little less aggressive, something with a lot less rolling resistance. Now, first off, gripper by name, gripper by nature. This tire, I haven't had to think about since the moment I fitted it. Now, I'm the kind of trader that as soon as I have to start thinking about what my tires are doing, I might as well just sack off and go home. As soon as that, I start worrying about whether or not I'll have traction when I come towards that nudgy little root section that I know is up, coming up, or that off camber turn with that slick rock. As soon as I start thinking about whether the tire is gonna grip or how it's gonna behave, that's done. I start riding conservatively, I stiffen up, and even if the tire would have been fine, psychologically I've kind of, kind of banjacks the whole thing. And all of that's down to, I need traction. I need to have confidence in the traction that my tires have. And with the gripper, I've had that in spades. In the wet, in the dry, natural, loose, muddy terrain on roots, on rocks, on trail center stuff. It's just been great. Just done its business. I just haven't had to think about what the front tire is doing at all in all kind of conditions, basically. Now, some of you might be guessing where this is going by how I'm talking about the gripper. The single track, however, in the dry, that tire has actually been really, really good. I was getting up technical climbs in a way that I've never been able to clear because I've ever spun out or just clocked roots in the wrong way and just slid out sideways on the wrong rock. This tire climbed and gripped in the dry superbly, absolutely amazing in the dry on natural terrain. Great tire in really, really, really wet conditions and on trail center stuff, perfect. Again, didn't have to think a single thing about what that tire was doing. As soon as that tire saw a wet route, it just turned to anti-traction and would just slide out. And sometimes it would catch itself and sometimes it wouldn't. Sometimes it would go off sideways, and sometimes it wouldn't, sometimes it would just spin on the front. It was unpredictable. Gremlins settled in and that was it. Sack it off, go home. And this kind of tallies with some of the things I've already been told about these, these tires that for kind of long distance stuff where rolling resistance is a genuine concern, 
going with their Tractor XE tire at the back and single track at the front, or the single tracks front and back for trail center duty stuff or dry terrain. Brilliant, great. Really cold weather, frozen stuff. I've heard great things about the single track doing brilliantly and really, really wet mud at things like the puffer and just actually exceeding expectations quite dramatically. But when it's that kind of special kind of summer wet, slick mud, it just wasn't, wasn't working at all. In those conditions, I've heard great things about just going for a double duty of grippers front and back and that just doing great things. Now you might think that the additional rolling resistance is gonna be a factor. And in essence, yes, but having traction, in my opinion, overcomes rolling resistance any day of the week. If you have confidence, you won't break. If you break, you won't go fast. If you break, you'll slide out. So if you have that traction and you know that tire's gonna grip on that turn, then any kind of handicap created by rolling resistance is totally negated because you ride aggressively, you ride with confidence and you ride in a way that these tires can take you. Will I be keeping these tires? Yes, yes I will. Will I be keeping this combo of tires? No, no I won't. In the short term, I'm gonna stick my old Mary back in the back and I'm going to then get a second gripper and go gripper front and back, which is what I was told I would probably be doing by another YouTube writer um, way back in January. I just wanted to see what it was like and I've had some great rides with these tires. Now this isn't to say at all that the single track is a bad tire, it's just a good tire for some conditions, great tire in dry conditions and out of its depth when it's wet. In the dry, I was getting PBs or matching PBs on trails where I hadn't been that quick in over two years. And in the wet, I was crashing on the exact same trail a week later. So the only thing that makes me think that's changed there is the wet. Rode the same trails, the same routes in both wet and dry conditions, consecutive weeks, a few weekends on the trot, and having pretty much the same experience each time. So confirms kind of my feelings on that. So it's time to get something with a bit more traction back on the rear so I can trust that I'm not gonna just crash the second my bike sees anything. The single track features an alternating knob pattern and siping, and that alternating pattern is what I think is giving it a major issue in the wet, because one of those alternating patterns doesn't grip in the same way as the other, so that's why it's sliding out and catching itself, and as well sometimes not catching itself, which is giving me the issues. The gripper, also slightly alternating, but not nearly as much. And I've never had any issues with that in the wet or dry. Just works. Like a good tire should. Don't have to think about it, you just go. So to summarize, would I recommend these tires? Yes, absolutely. If you're looking for something a little bit different from the kind of Maxxis and the Schwalbs and even the Specialized kind of tires out there, you want something a bit different. They've got them in tan wall as well. The performance of the gripper is on par with the best. I have zero issues with that. I would recommend the single track for only certain trail conditions and for dry weather riding. Let us know in the comments what tire combinations and pressures and stuff you're riding for dry and wet. And uh, as always, thanks for watching and uh, happy trails.